My name is SpectrifyDev. Welcome to my first ever dev vlog on my game, Fish With Legs. Fish With Legs is an action platformer about a fish who mutated and grew legs after a bunch of scientists dumped random chemicals that they found in the back alley into the ocean. I'm hoping for this to be my first commercial game and I can actually, you know, release it. Cause so far, I've been making games for about two years but I've never actually released any of them. I'm gonna document them in the devlog series on this channel. I don't really have a set schedule on when I'll release devlogs, it's just when I make major progress. The idea came about uh, a few days ago when I was playing Terraria and you know how the fish can sometimes walk on land? And I was like, <laughs> fish with legs, <laughs> oh. Cause that, and that's how ideas are created, kids. At the current moment, my engine of choice is Construct 3, but I have experience in Unity, Godot, and a little bit of Unreal Engine. That en that 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 was comp. That that engine's complicated. I don't like that engine. I started my development yesterday with the art. Normally, I don't start with the art. I knew how easy setting up a basic player platformer would be, so I decided to go directly into the art. I created this little fish guy, and after a little help with a couple friends that I was talking to in Discord, finally I had the final version. I then created a bunch of animations for him and went to bed because it was 2:30 a.m. I had a checklist on Trello of stuff that I was supposed to get done that day, so we should probably get to work. I started by implementing all the animations that I had into the actual game. Some of them were a bit janky, so I would have ended up having to polish them later, but that's okay. Pretty soon, our little fish friend could jump around and walk. Then I implemented double jumping because I feel like it's gonna, it could be a fun mechanic. I then got to work on making an attack system. I had to decide whether or not I wanted a melee attack or a ranged attack. I could technically have both, but I felt like, I felt like the ranged attack would work best. I remember watching a documentary about fish that would uh, spit water at insects uh, to make them fall in the water so they can eat them. So I decided to give my, f I decided to give my little fishy friend here the ability to shoot water as a projectile attack. Seems pretty interesting. And after an hour and a half of debugging, it seems like it was working pretty well. I expected the projectile shooting and the animations to take a lot longer than they actually did. Luckily, yesterday I was prepared. When I set up my checklist, I set up some optional things that I could do if I had a little extra time, and one of them was to add an enemy. The enemy was planned to be a little crab. See, my idea for the game is you're gonna move through three different sections. You're gonna move through the beach as you escape from the ocean, then you're gonna move through a forest, and then finally a city. Each area is gonna have their own enemies, own power-ups, and possibly even different projectile shooting. Like, let's say in the city, you could shoot soda, because soda cans are lying all over the ground. Or in the forest, you could shoot tree sap out of your mouth and stick enemies into the ground while also inflicting damage. I don't know if I'm going to end up doing this, but it's still a pretty interesting idea, nonetheless. So I began working on the pixel art of the crab. It took a while, but I... It took a while, because a lot of the references were way more than 16 by 16 which is the pixel art size that I'm going to be using for this game. But pretty soon I got a little squishy crab creature. He's, he's adorable. I want him. Then, after spending way too much time on his AI, he can now move. Oh, wait, we still can't shoot him. I must murder the crab. After way too many animation bugs that resulted from player shooting projectiles, I finally, I finally got everything working, and now our crab can be brutally murdered in cold blood. That's fun. And that's all I did. All of this footage was from one day, all of the other devlogs that I make will definitely be from weeks and weeks so I can make them longer and have more content to show you guys, but to be honest, I just got too excited about this. <laughs> make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the devlogs, as I will be uploading more. Thank you for watching.